The Pulitzers were awarded in a number of categories yesterday, among them fiction. And we are absolutely delighted to have Wall Street Journal Fiction Chronicle columnist Sam Sachs here to talk about the winner in the fiction category, who is Adam Johnson, who wrote The Orphan Master's Son, which is set in, in North Korea. Why is this book important? What's its premise? Well, the premise is, it, at its simplest, it follows an average North Korean citizen named Pak John Do. We, we're told that his name is pronounced John Do, to sort of the clever way of stressing his everyman status. That's at its simplest, but it's in fact, there's nothing simple about it at all. It follows this normal North Korean citizen through the military, into gulags, and into the highest ranks of North Korean government. So it, it's sort of an amalgam of dystopian political novels like Orwell's 1984. Does it rank with Orwell's 1984 in your, in your opinion? I think it does, in fact. It's different in a way because Orwell's is very much a political satire, a political dystopian novel. This one, in fact, is a page turner. There's also a real adventure to it. There's an element of um, sort of cinematic flair that mixes with the satire. But at the same time, it's satirical but there's also a sense that it's very real because North Korea, what's going on in North Korea is present and is very contemporary. Yeah, it's a very, very timely award. We've got about a minute left, Sam. And I, this is just kind of a practical question. How in the world did this author gather so many details about a country that's uh, largely close to the outside world? Well, he said in interviews, he's read some books. There are some histories from people who have defected from North Korea who have written books of eyewitness. But he also took a trip to North Korea. There's very stage-managed, state-sponsored trips that he went on that he got some idea of what the country was like. He said that he could sort of see through the stage managing to see his way through. Beyond that, it's just imagination. It's just him trying to think. You know, it's just him making things up. There's not, much, not many places in the world where we don't really know what it, the world is like. This is one of them, and so it's really a great place for imaginative fi in the, fiction. Imaginative fiction and a, and a fantastic read. Wall Street Journal Fiction Chronicle columnist Sam Sachs, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Man. Email us at Opinion Journal Live. That's all one word at WSJ.com. I'm Mary Kissel with the Wall Street Journal editorial. Thanks for watching.